Welcome to the video. This is Ryan Knows Tech with techinform.us and I'm going to do a real quick application review here. This one's called TinyGrab. It's available in the Mac App Store. It's also available for PC. If you run on over to tinygrab.com, you'll be able to download the Tiny 2.5 meg, 1.5 meg, very small file for either your Mac or your PC. No Linux or Ubuntu version, um, thank God, at least that I'm aware of. So this is really, really simple, lightweight, easy software to uh, just to share something really quickly. Let's say I wanted to take a picture of something on my screen and show it to somebody else. For example, I open up my dashboard on a Mac. You hit your Command Shift Four. This is native in OS 10. You do not need this application to utilize it. Say I wanted to share uh, the stocks for today. I could just click, drag. It's going to take that snapshot there click and now you see the upload bar up there gave me a progress bar and it just pasted the link of where that file has been uploaded to my clipboard automatically so command V there it is grab dot by slash nine capital Y lowercase y B that link will always be active you can go see what I just took this is the first time it's loading and there it is there's my little picture of the weather of the stock gadget I just took on April 26 2011 so I can paste that anywhere. The link is still on my clipboard. I can take a full screen screenshot by hitting Command Shift 3. It's going to take a little bit longer to upload that larger file. Notice the progress bar on the top as it does that. And then once that's done, you can just go here, paste, and uh, apparently took a little bit longer than we thought. Paste the new link, and there it is. There's my full size screenshot. Uh, obviously, it's going to depend on your internet connection, but really really easy tool to do I mean it for Mac or for PC it's control shift and four and then it's command on Windows so it uploads pretty quickly and then you can share that anywhere now uh, when you sign up for this you can buy it I think it is seven dollars I can't get it to tell me on the site because I'm already logged in and stuff uh, you can do a free account which is going to give you like 10 grabs a day or something like that uh, when you log into your account, you get this control panel, which is new in TinyGrab 2, which I believe has been rolled out to everyone everywhere. And this is going to show you everything that you've uploaded. Notice some of these uh, were just little fragments of stuff I was uploading working on a new project, which I'll be making a video about soon. It's a new Tech Inform uh, service that we're offering called Tech and Five. Be sure to check that out on our blog, techinform.us. But here's all of the images that I've uploaded. I can organize those in, in different ways. And then notice all these options over here on the side, which is kind of cool. I've got, uh, I'll start at the top, account management, pretty simple. Come in there, change my password if I want. Preferences, my name, my email address, time zone. Uh, if I have the pro, I can disable the ads some annotations, social connect, all kinds of stuff here. Custom domains, that's interesting. If you have a domain and you want to use it, go ahead and set your CNAME to tinygrab.com, put in your domain and then select uh, either the grab.by or uh, whatever you want to do there. You can upload from here, which would be stupid because that would be just like TwitPic. You'd have to fire up a browser and browse to a file and upload the selected file when you can just take a screenshot. And uh, I'll tell you about it. I'll tell you, I heard this from a friend probably six months ago and I thought well that seems like a stupid feature I'm not gonna buy it I'd never use that well I ended up buying it and holy crap I absolutely love it when it's not working which was for about a week when they upgraded from 1.0 to 2.0 I legitimately missed it because I would have to send somebody like through Skype or through email a .png or a .jpg of what I was trying to show them with this I just boom command shift 4 select what I want to do upload it let it post that link and there it is, out on the web for anybody I want to see it or anybody I don't want to see it. I can go in and remove it if there was something I didn't need people to see. Now you can also tell it to delete these off your desktop well, after they've been uploaded. I don't. Sometimes I want to take a screenshot and file it away. You also get this up in your, I guess, taskbar up here. Um, in a future update, you're going to be able to see recents. You'll have a, a list of your different uh, grabs that you've uploaded recently. You can tell it to show you the dock icon. Since I have it boot up with OS 10, that's just a waste of space for it to show me the dock icon. So I don't do that. Show account information, that's just where I log in. And then I can quit the application there. As I said, it starts up with the OS. It's really quick. It's a really simple uh, screenshot sharing application called TinyGrab. Absolutely love it and recommend it to anybody on either Mac or PC. 
Thanks for watching the review. More content at techinform.us. And of course, on my channel, be sure to subscribe if you like the content. My Twitter account is twitter.com slash James R. Schultz. And then tonight, we will be live from 8 to 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on ustream.tv slash user slash techinformus. We'll be talking all kinds of tech, playing some iPad games. Uh, actually, Asphalt 6, we can get in there and get a whole bunch of people to come in and multiplayer online. That's pretty cool. So if you've got some iOS device, I don't know if it's on Android yet, but uh, Asphalt 6 is definitely a fun game. So I'll see you there or in Wednesday's video. Thanks. Bye-bye.